Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates out at the Range 702. The historical significance of that, of course, is ironic because today is Columbus Day and 702 AD is the year that he discovered the Second Amendment. Uh, today we are here with Machine Gun Kelly. Chris. Machine Gun Kelly Chris. And she is going to show us the proper operation of a machine gun, correct? Just Chris. Yes, machine gun. Okay. What do people need to know about operating a machine gun properly? Well, I'm going to go over all the safety tips with you, but today it's going to be important for us to always keep our finger off the trigger and always keep the fire rod pointed downrange. All right. So she's going to show you the proper safe operation on how to fire a machine gun at someone and kill them, and then I will show you the more dangerous way to do it. All right, so first we're going to get an education about what a machine gun is and what different versions there are. This, of course, the big one here in front of us is known as a Beretta. The next one here is called a Stanislavski, okay? This one here is a Kornikova, invented by a famous Russian tennis player. And then we have the gun known as the Blue Man Group. Um, so this is the Barrett, and then this is the MP5, and this is an M4. The blue gun is actually just something we use to work on safety procedures and practice, but it doesn't actually fire. So those are the slang terms. I was being more specific, uh, being technical. But if you want to do the slang terms, that's fine. Well, those are the technical terms, so. The technical slang terms. If you want to be technical slanging. So we're going to start by just going over some safety rules. The first thing we're going to go over is whenever you're on the range, make sure to keep your ear pro and your eye pro on at all times. You want to, okay. Hey, can we just go over some safety rules here? What? You ready to go over some range safety rules? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. So, do you want me to keep all my ear protection and eye protection on during the safety portion? No. That would be very safe. That would be safe. We'll put it on when we're done. All right. So when we're on the range, just make sure to keep the ear and eye pro on the whole time. Gotcha. Another thing we want to do is just keep our finger off the trigger until we're ready to fire. Kind of like this. You want to... Okay. This is called what? Trigger control. Trigger control. What else do we need to know other than trigger control? So you also want to have the muzzle of the firearm pointed in a safe direction all the time. And that can be called muzzle discipline or muzzle control. So sometimes for extra safety, you actually want to put the barrel right flat to the floor or ground, correct? Uh, so the next thing we're going to learn on here is the safety. So there will be a safety right here, and you want to just make sure it's always on safe until you're ready to fire. All right. So keep the weapon on safe until you're ready to be unsafe. Well, we're still going to be safe because we're going to be following the safety rules, so... Still not sure how shooting at somebody is safe, but she's going to show us that too eventually. Well, we're going to shoot at paper targets. Right. So. But it's practicing to shoot actual people as far as I know. Well. Just paper targets today is what we're shooting at. All right, good. So that way if we see a paper target wandering around committing crimes, we can shoot that.
be honest, I thought they would have uh, deadlier guns here. Uh, these aren't that impressive. Well, do you have anything deadlier than this? Uh, yes. Do you want to shoot that one instead? Yeah, what, what do you have? Okay, I have the Quadzilla. Do you want to go look at it? Yeah, let's check out the Quadzilla. All right, so you've seen us operate some machine guns safely in a lethal direction. And now it's time for what? What gun do we have left? Quadzilla. So I'm going to load this baby up. Quadzilla. And just so you know, this portion of the video is Ameridote versus Quadzilla. We're going to show how Ameridote does more damage to a target than Quadzilla starting right now. Well, look like, looks like Ameridote wins again. Well, I didn't even really know we were having a competition, so. Well, you gotta be ready at all times. Well, there's four magazines to load. It's kind of a complicated weapon. I got four limbs to load. I walk around locked and loaded. Guess Ameridote beats the Quadzilla. Well, let's see about that. Well, I guess there's something to be said for a second best. Uh, anyway, Chris here can tell you where to find information on the 702 range. That's right. So on Instagram, we're the range 702. And if you're interested in following me, it's Chris Chansky. And I'm Master Ken. Remember to tune in next time for another episode of Master Ken's Privates. This. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message for me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restomp that groin.